Hi, my name is Chad Weiner, and I'm a Solution Architect at Alithia Fullscope. In this video, we'll be covering modern approvals with Dynamics 365 and Microsoft Flow. Microsoft Flow has a very great generic approval process that can be used really with any data source, much of those coming from the Power Platform in terms of Dynamics 365 customer engagement, finance and operations, SharePoint, uh, they can even be used within Power Apps. These approvals can require that all approvers approve this request or just a single approver. And they even have the functionality to say if we send it to a group of seven people, we only need the first person to respond to complete the request. Approvers are notified two ways. One is via email where they get a message in their inbox with all the information along with two buttons to either approve or reject so they don't have to log into any external systems they can do it right from within that email there's also a Microsoft flow app that can be downloaded from the App Store which gives the user a push notification where then they can simply go into the flow app manage all of their approvals and simply uh, accept reject and add comments all while being mobile from a tablet or a phone these approvals can be reassigned in the app uh, or from the email. So if you're not the right person, you can push this on to the correct individual who will be able to approve it. In this video scenario, we'll be showing how Dynamics 365 can be used to track RFPs that have been received from the customer uh, and CRM manages the completion of these. At a certain point, if the RFP response requires revisions, an approval is required prior to being submitted back to the customer. The approval is constantly traveling and needs quick and easy access to the RFP data, as well as the ability to approve and reject. Now, we're also seeing customers use these flow approvals in a lot of different scenarios. A couple of those examples are around opportunity approvals, quote and quote line discount approvals, uh, if they need to create a new account, and maybe that goes over to their ERP system, uh, as well as SharePoint documents and lists. When new things are added to SharePoint, these flows can kick off, as well as for other things like travel or time and expenses or RMA and returns. When the approver has the Microsoft Flow app installed, they're going to get a push notification on their device. After clicking on that notification, they'll be able to see the record and they can quickly take approve or reject. Clicking into it will give them more information such as the customer, the due date of that RFP, and if you see that blue link that'll actually open up that RFP within the Dynamics 365 mobile app and we can actually approve or reject and add comments and click the confirm in the top right to send that approval off. As mentioned, they do also get this request via email, so this is what it looks like within Outlook. Let's jump into a demo and see what the flow approval looks like on our RFP process and how we can build our own. So here we are in Dynamics 365 looking at an RFP record. We can see we've got the due dates, customer need challenges and solution, as well as our business process flow guiding us through our RFP process. As we progress through the stages, we're verifying that we're capturing all the information. I just got their NDA signed. And now you'll notice that the next stage is submit, but with the branching of the business process flow, we can now say that if this RFP uh, requires revision, we now get a new uh, revise stage, which gives us the ability to do our approval. And again, these triggers for approvals can be automated. So if by advancing to the revise stage, you automatically want it to kick off the approval, or maybe if uh, the quote revenue went above $100,000, you want to automatically trigger an approval. These can be triggered automatically or uh, manually here. So what I've done is we've got a couple of fields, one to checkbox to say, yes, I want to uh, require approval. We've got another approval status that goes from not submitted to submitted and then approved or rejected when it comes back. We can see the date it was approved who approved it, and then if the approver adds any comments through the Flow app, those will be visible here. So let's go ahead and submit this approval 
you'll see a business rule goes ahead and locks all these fields down, submits the record, we'll go and save, and in a moment on the right, you'll see my cell phone, I'll get a push notification from Microsoft Flow, letting me know that a new RFP has been submitted. I'll also get that email that'll come in here momentarily as well. Just wait for that to come in. And now you can see that second email came in too. So let's first open up the email just to show you what that looks like. So again, I can either approve or reject right from within this email. I have all that RFP information, the customer, the due date, their need. Now, if I go into the Microsoft Flow notification, that's gonna give me all the same details with a deep link into my Dynamics 365 mobile application. So now I'll be able to quickly review any of the RFP details that I want to. So we see all that information that we have on the web, or on the web on the left, visible on the mobile app. And we can even see that if I wanna see all the SharePoint documents, maybe somebody uploaded the final documentation estimate that I need to review. So I can go ahead and from SharePoint, open that directly into Excel on my phone to quickly approve any numbers, make sure I have all the information that I need to approve. Looking at this project, I can see any information that looks good. So let's go back into Flow and approve this request. So let's go ahead and we can either approve or reject it. I'll go ahead and click approve and we can add in any additional comments and we can even leverage voice dictation here. Reviewed the Excel proposal and all the numbers look great, period. Go ahead and send, period. Go ahead and click confirm in the top right, and it's gonna go ahead and based upon the action we took, it'll go ahead and make any updates to any records and kick off any processes in SharePoint, Dynamics, anything like that. So as we notice, we come back in our RFP, it has not been approved yet. If we go ahead and click on refresh, we now see that the dates are all locked down and Chad Weiner approved this today, as well as we can see any comments that he has there in the comment box below. So I wanted to flip over to Microsoft Flow to quickly show you how this flow was created and how you could potentially do this yourself. So we're using the common data model uh, flow connector and we're using the when a record is updated trigger. So we have when an RFP is updated and we're filtering only on our checkbox that says, yes, I'm submitting this for approval. So only look at that field. We're then getting a couple of related records. So we're getting the account data in case we wanna use the address, their credit limit, who the primary contact is or the owner, things like that. We're getting the owner of the RFP's data so that we could potentially send this approval to his manager that's specified within CRM. We're also getting contact data that's specified on the RFP in case we want to put in an email address or a phone number uh, for reference in the approval. And then we're going to do a check. So we're going to say, okay, does uh, the requires approval equals yes? So is that box checked? Right? We only want to fire approvals on RFPs that require approval. And if that box is not checked, the flow will stop. If it is checked and it's an RFP that requires an approval, we then start an approval process. I've selected the first to respond. Then we give it a title, an assigned to. And so, you know, your RFP for the account name on the RFP, and we want to assign it to the primary email of whoever owns that RFP. And we can also include any additional details that we want inside of the body of that approval message. You can also use this syntax ms-dynamics-xrm to build that deep link URL where you simply put in the record GUID at the end. And then we check to see what the response of that was. So if the response is equal to approve, that means the user has approved it. We can then go down this branch of updating the RFP record. So now we're updating a record in the common data service 
We're going to give it the GUID from that RFP that we got at the top, and we can go in and put in the comments, the response date. We're going to change the approval status to approved, and then we can put in who it was approved by. And then maybe we want to take it a step further and actually send the RFP owner an email that says your RFP has been approved. And if the approval rejected it and it's not approved, it would go down this branch where we would then go into CRM and update the RFP to say that it was rejected. And again, maybe we can send the customer an email. Let's go ahead and test this real quick. So I'll perform the trigger. We'll come back into Dynamics, submit a new RFP, and we're going to see Flow will run through this process. It just picked up the changes. It's now running through as we see the green check go through, and then on the right, you'll see a new approval come in. We can then accept it, click confirm, and you'll notice that it completes the process. And if we go back and refresh our data inside of Dynamics, we have those approvals and I didn't enter any comments. Hopefully this gives you enough information to start leveraging flow and approval processes within your organization. Thank you for watching this video on Dynamics 365 and modern approvals with Microsoft Flow. If you have any questions, please reach out to your account director. Thank you.